Hey guys, hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Uh, today we are going to make some dumplings, but not from scratch because I've never done that and I don't know how to do that. Uh, we're going to be talking about frozen dumplings um, and how to make kind of a little dipping sauce that I'm sure is the least authentic thing in the world, but I think tastes good. Uh, so we'll kind of talk about how we cook them and how we, uh, we eat them over here. So, cheers guys. Okay, so... Um, Re well, you know, recently, recently we discovered that there's been some like really great brands of dumplings that have kind of come into uh, the major supermarket chains. Um, so like I remember a couple of years ago, like the dumplings you got were like the M um, and M ones, or some, some just there's these weren't very good. Uh, now we find these ones at superstore, um, and they're they're super inexpensive. Um, you know, I think they're quite a good product. Uh, so we picked up these a lot, um, and it's gonna give me kind of a couple go arounds to figure out how to cook them in a way that that seems to work, because uh, these are what they call pot stickers. Um, so the idea is you're searing them in the pan and then steaming them. Um, so the steam is cooking them, and then you're getting a really nice crust on the bottom of the dumpling. So how you go about doing that is you want a nice uh, flat. Well, the important aspect of this is that the bottom of this pan is flat. Um, so the idea is that the oil is going to sit in an even layer. Uh, when it's it's a, uh, like a sauté pan, there's there's a belly to it, a curve. So all of the oil will drain down in the water to, to the center, which isn't really what you want, ideally. So if you have a cast iron pan like this, this works really well, just because the bottom is so flat. Let me just show you guys. So you can see how it's got a clear rim on the edge. Um, that's going to have like a nice flat bottom and it's going to be really, really good for, for kind of doing this here. So I've just preheated this to a medium heat. I'm getting a little bit of neutral oil in the pan. Not a ton because we're going to be adding water to this. So we don't want like a huge grease fire kind of explosion there. Open up your pack of dumplings. And dumplings are just, it's, every culture in the world has one. It's ravioli in Italy. It's pierogies in Eastern Europe. Um, dumplings in most of Asia, but it's, it's a meat wrapped around, meat filled pastry. And what that pastry is can be different culture to culture, but it's just a delightful little pot to get in there. So you'll open them up and you'll find the dumplings are, are wrapped like this. There's a flat bottom to them. This is what you want to put down the pan. Let's put the pan back on the heat here. And here, it's not like a crazy sizzle or anything. That's what you're looking for, right? Also remember that you're starting, you're going to be taking this back up a little bit. Um, quite a bit of uh, heat out of your pan because you're adding frozen food, right? Just out of the freezer. Just going to go, we're not going to make too, too many because this is actually 9 o'clock in the morning for us. So we're, we're having dumplings for breakfast, which could be worse. Um, so that's kind of a good amount, make sure the space kind of nicely. Put more in here. Yeah, it's kind of working way around. Put them in there. Put the other fervor. And go. Okay. Um, so we're going to let those sit for just a second. Give these guys back to the freezer so they don't fly out. Okay. Um, Okay, so once I know that they're not stuck, I'm going to come in, I'm going to grab a mug of water. And I'm going to add about probably a cup of water. You're just going until it kind of comes up just past the belly. Like, like the dumpling will kind of curve up on the bottom. Then that's where you want the water to sit. Then you're going to take the lid. Your pot, and you're going to cover it up, and we're just going to let that steam. That's going to steam for well, until they're, until they're done. They come fully cooked, um, but you obviously want to make sure the center is nice and hot. So, uh, for the dipping sauce, um, this could be kind of like whatever you want. You can buy a dipping sauce, you can use plum sauce with ginger. Um, this is something that, that we use a lot in the house. Uh, it starts off like a lot of things thinly sliced green onions. 
I put quite a bit of green onion in it. Um, I like the crunch, you know, but I also just really enjoy green onion. I mean, there's so much liquid moving around in this island. Let's get the coffee out here. Okay. I don't know if you guys can tell, but we're getting to the end of our uh, shopping cycle. So our videos have become instant ramen, frozen dumplings. Uh, I think we're going to do souped up frozen pizza next. Uh, this is clearly the end of our two week cycle here. Um, okay, so I've got a spring onion chopped up in there. I'm going to zest a lime, then I'm going to juice it. Got my zester here. Turn the heat up a little bit. I'm looking for steam to come out of the edges there. That's what I'm just turning the heat up for. Give it a nice little zesty zest. I'm just going to zest the whole lime. Probably don't need that much, but we're just going to use the lime up. Perfect. Then I'm going to juice it. You to remember, roll your citrus to break up the uh, cell structures of the, the inside of it so you can get more juice out of her. This is citrus for me. That's a dry lime. It's okay. Put that off to the side. Okay, and then we're going to come with some of our sauces here. So, Soy sauce is kind of the main component. It's probably two tablespoons. I'm gonna actually kind of mesh this in. Roughly. Say three tablespoons of soy sauce. One tablespoon of um, sesame oil. One tablespoon of Chinese dark vinegar. Then we're gonna add a little bit of fish sauce here. But just a little bit. I think probably a teaspoon. I needed that extra drop. Okay, on there. And then let's put it here. Um, and again, we don't use a ton of white sugar in this house for our cooking. Um, we have kilos and kilos of it for Tyler's cakes that she makes. Uh, but this is a sauce that I find really needs the sugar. Uh, the see the steam coming off the side here. This is what you want. You want to kind of create a little steam chamber in there that's cooking them dumplings. And that's perfect. Fantastic. And it's nice, those lodge ones are, are nice because the lids are so heavy. It actually kind of creates a little bit of like a steam chamber. You can do it just by covering it up, but you'll probably have to up your cooking time because it's almost creating a little like pressure vacuum in there. Like a pressure chamber. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Okay, cool. Um, like, yeah, like I said, we don't use a ton of... Um, White sugar, but for this sauce, it really needs it. The soy, it's, it's a lot of savory. And to kind of balance that out, you need a little bit of sweet here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about a teaspoon of sugar. And you can obviously up that or take that out if you're really sensitive. I'm also gonna add a clove of garlic. Then I'm gonna grate, micro sorry. And this is just kind of like, again, you know, it's like a lot of the, a lot of stuff we're talking about. This is just an inspiration, a basis, a jumping off point, whatever you want to call it. Um, to kind of just, you know, this isn't a recipe. I, I don't think, maybe there's somewhere, but I, this is not like an authentic dipping sauce from some area of the world. You know, this is just some like good ingredients that kind of we always have in our pantry. And this makes like a nice kind of dipping sauce that, you know, would be great with, um, like chicken or, or pork or whatever. Um, but it's just what we have, it's what we're using. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I'm gonna microplane a clove of garlic. I know I'm putting it over there, it comes off. 
Um, again, I just microplaning so I have nice small pieces of garlic. Uh, if you want big chunks, get some bigger chunks of garlic. And what's nice with the microplane is it kind of, you end up like microplaning to the skin. If you kind of do it, it works if it works out well. Uh, it's nice. And I would wish I had some ginger. Boy, tell you, ginger in this. Real nice, and I do, and I chop the ginger just really fine. If you are adding ginger, okay. So we're gonna give this a little stir up, dissolve that sugar, uh, and this sits in the fridge really nicely. But this can sit in the fridge overnight. I'm gonna actually probably better the next day. All the flavors kind of marry a little bit. And I'm kind of like, uh, almost not breaking up, but I'm kind of pushing against the green onion. Um, like we really kind of want to aggressively kind of pushing all of that stuff against the sides a little bit, just to kind of extract out some of that liquid and really kind of make sure this is all combined nicely. So let's see, give her super limey. I probably added a bit too much lime zest. Um, definitely needs a touch more sugar. We get another teaspoon of sugar. Um, soy is really prevalent, really nice. Just needs a little, uh, a little bit more sweetness. And obviously the soy is where all of our salt's coming from, right? So we're not gonna add any salt or anything like that. Now for this, um, if it's me, I'm gonna add, when I eat it, I'm gonna add some of my chili oil. Chili oil, chili oil, um, to it. Uh, I'm not gonna do that now because I'm sharing this with Tyler and she does not love the spice the same that I do. Um, but yeah, if you want, that's that you kind of put this in the middle of the table, have some spicy oil beside it. Yes, you kind of go at your dumplings, do all that. Really nice. Okay. We'll taste now. There it is. Yeah. So maybe a bit too much lime. It's really acidic, but I'm gonna leave it like that because um, when you're dipping in the dumplings, that changes the flavor and stuff. So. Yeah, that's just a really, really quick little uh, little dipping sauce for that. I wish we had some ginger. Man. Tell you. So um, I'll just uh, kind of while the dumplings are cooking here. Um, I don't. You don't want to take the lid off. Let's hit all the steam. Um, but you can like start to smell. Things are heating up. Things are cooking. It's all going on. I sit in there, so I'm just going to trust that the process is working. Even though I really want to lift up the lid and check on it. Kind of one of those things you just want to leave. Um, So this is a, our last week, like I said, of doing five videos a week. Uh, next week we're moving to Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, that's gonna really let us open up and do some longer format stuff. So I mentioned in the last video that we're gonna talk about braised meats, some breads. Um, if you guys have any requests for kind of like some more complicated dishes that you would like to see that aren't just kind of, you know, cause when this whole process started, it was all started on Instagram Live. Like we just went live at five and I made dinner and uh, you know, over the past kind of month and a half, two months, it's evolved into this new, you know, a kind of a somewhat <laughs> legitimate cooking show, right? So the initial intent was not to kind of do bread or like braised meats or stuff like that. Um, but if there's something that you, know, you want to know or you're interested in seeing, uh, just comment or send a message on Instagram. Uh, Whatever you want to do, because uh, now we're going to be kind of doing some really cool longer stuff, like we might be doing some kind of longer pickling or fermentations or, you know, like I said, longer cooked meats, marinades, stuff like that. Um, so this week we're kind of finishing up with some really quick little meals, and then next week we're going to be jumping into some more kind of, not necessarily complex, but not instant ramen kind of type stuff, uh, which we're really, really excited about. But yeah, let us know what... Uh, what to, you would like to see. So I'm gonna check on these, see where we're at. Okay, so as you can see, most of the water's evaporated out and that leftover oil is now crisping. The dumplings feel, are totally cooked. I mean, they're already cooked through. Um, but uh, the top has been steamed. So I'm just feeling like, it's a little bit of a feel thing, I, can't, I don't really know how to describe it. 
Um, but the pastry feels soft and, and pliable. Um, it just feels cooked to me. I don't know how else to describe it. Is there another way to describe how the pastry is cooked? Feels? I don't know. I just don't know. Um, and then now, this is like the time where I think, I, well, I will tell you, I initially screwed up a bunch. Because I was trying to like peel these off and do all this. These will release. The whole thing is they release when they want to release. So, you know, when these things, like, see that guy just popped right off? That guy was ready. He was, he was ready to complete his journey. And this is like, you kind of just have to have this mindset when you're making this, where it's just like, they'll come up when they're, when they're ready and when they're done. When they're done, they're time. Um, so I'm just going to grab a plate real quick. One of these guys, give it a quick rinse. It's all dusty. Oh my god, it's filthy. We'll get ready to play this little deal here. Oh, here. Like most things, there you go, see? Now they're just popping up. And, you know, you, I, you can go dark with them. That's okay. But I'm just showing you the bottoms right now. To show you kind of what they look like. And this is kind of that, nothing's moving, right? Like that, I'm not forcing these. If I feel like, like that guy, it's still kind of stuck, I'm just gonna leave it. You know? These guys are good. Okay. These guys are good. Uh, and then, yeah, we're just going to get these on plate, and then we're going to uh, come back and show you how to plate them. Okay. Our camera has cooled off. Again, uh, we are back, so the dumplings are cooked. Uh, and just again, this is kind of what you're looking for. Like, maybe you like them lighter. I like them nice, dark, crispy crust. Um, the, these just come fully cooked, so you're just warming them through again. Uh, but you really want to make sure you give enough time for this, this seam to cook. Because it's just like the ravioli if you watch that hour long video. It's when you fold pastry, it doubles up in thickness, right? So that becomes the thickest point to cook. So you really need, that's kind of where you're checking in on that seam. Um, you know, and I just like want to say, it's like, this is kind of like pandemic, pandemic cooking at not its finest, but this is what this is, right? It's like my little cook ego in my brain wants to like, go and make pork dumplings from scratch and like to like show people that I know how to do that, but like no one's going to do it. And also that's not what these videos are about. It's about having stuff in your freezer and cooking from your freezer and trying to make it as good as we can without going to the store. And you know, it took me a couple goes to figure out how to cook these properly. And when you do it, they're a really good product. But the first couple times of boiling them and then trying to sear them and doing this and the, the wrapping was falling apart. And I wish I had someone that could, you know, had shown me how to do it, so, you know, it's just my little rant of my, my personal little ego versus actually helping people. Okay, let's plate this up. Mom, you're getting a three-peat on your, on your bowl here. Um, so all I'm doing is i got a nice little dish. Uh, get a good mother, make her buy you stuff from Talese Value Village, and I'm just kind of arranging the dumplings, kind of like a little randomly in here, tie you. You know, something like that. They're not all gonna fit, it's okay. Those are what we call little tasters. Then put your little uh, sauce bowl kind of in that dish. If I was smart, I would fill up the sauce bowl before I put in the dish to make sure I didn't spill anything. Yeah, off to the side. These are what we call the uh, quality control in the kitchen. Not everything goes on the plate, right? So you gotta taste your food and make sure it's good. So, guys, really delicious little dumplings. Super cheap, super quick, really affordable meal. You can keep these in the freezer, and they're a great little, you know, carry over another day or two to keep you from the grocery stores. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and uh, is this gonna be our Friday episode? We'll see you tomorrow at five. Yes. Thanks for watching. Why don't you watch another video? Like this one right here. Or subscribe right here. The new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 Eastern. Stay home, stay safe, eat well. Thanks.